This is one of those questions that I've got often throughout my kettlebell training career is how do you progress into doing better overhead squats? This is one of those really tough things for people because even with a barbell, your arms are going to be out much farther to the side, not straight up over your head. And you have to build up that ability to have the shoulder range of motion first. So right here, I'm sitting in a wide stance and I was trying to figure out and feel any tight spots in my body. So now I brought my legs back in together. It makes it a little tougher here. You're going to find out if your hamstrings or calves or glutes are really, really tight there. Plus, it takes a lot of work for the psoas to keep you in that position. Now, why I'm holding that is I'm, a, I'm assessing how it feels, okay? Biggest thing is to be able to be stable when you're going through your squats and so forth. So here's one of the main ones that I like to do is basically a half kneeling squat and you can get a press through that and see how you can feel because if you can't do a squat it might because one of the sides is messing you up okay so here we can assess left and right side to see if one of the legs is or one of your hips is a little bit more tight than the others when your lats how they're connected to the hips and here's from the side you can see that there's no real deviation or changing in my hip area there's a slight lean forward both sides i want to make sure that everything looks and feels the same so to me it does but anyway once we're done setting this up right here we can go back into i'm going to show you from the side how i'm not leaning back very far so a lot of people are doing this and this is basically a, a z press um so you're doing see how i'm leaning slightly forward because you're gonna to have to do that when you're doing that, when you're into your squat. Um, I just wanna make sure that you can see that, that bring that leg, bring those legs in closer together. It's gonna to take a lot more toll on the lower body there. But, you know, if you're gonna be doing overhead squats, you're gonna be needing to work on your mobility and loosen tight spots up in the first place. So now, here, we're gonna go into some more progressions for here. And then the first thing that I do is a very very wide stance so the wider you are the easier it's going to be okay the taller you are the easier it's going to be i mean if that might it should be common sense but it's not really for a lot of people so if you can pass that test then you can go in closer now i am better with my right arm um i have more mobility in my right arm because i haven't messed up my shoulder as often as i have messed up my shoulder on the left side through mountain biking and other injuries. Um, haven't had any injuries from kettlebells, but so there's that wide stance in the left. You can see there is a slight difference. There's a slight difference in how my shoulder rotates. Um, so it kicks out a little bit farther on that. So once I'm done with that, now I can move into actually going into the squat, okay? so. A good way to start, and I'll show you two different ones here. I really like this one because it's more free. It's a little bit more fluid here. It's not going to change your form that much, but it is going to offer you assistance from going back. So you take two thick, I think there's a two-inch resistance band, and I hooked them on a stationary object. So now I'm going to start with one kettlebell at a time. I'm going to put that overhead. It's always focus on doing single overhead squats before doing doubles, okay? That should be common sense as well, but usually it's it's not. But notice how it really doesn't affect my form for the squat, but it does give me a sense of not, if, if I'm leaning back a little bit more, if I don't have the flexibility in my ankles and maybe my hips for the full squat, I can work to it, okay? So this gets me used to how it feels, with just a little bit of assistance. I'm a big fan of doing stuff with a little bit of assistance, okay? So I've got out of that. Now another one for the resistance band, also you can use is a chair, okay? Now everybody has this, uh, it could be a picnic bench, it could be um, a box, you know, if you have a plyo box or something like that, but I'm not gonna take all my weight Okay, so I'm, first I'm going to feel that, but I want to lower down to where I'm touching that chair, 
but not totally taking think of it as a box squat okay so one arm kettlebell overhead box squat or to a chair or whatever and then if you pass that you can start moving on to doubles okay so now there's that and I'm gonna get set and feel how it feels make sure that my shoulders are packed and everything everything's nice working together and then I can lower down slowly the biggest thing is slowly okay you're not just dropping that because you have to be in control the whole time so once I've passed on to that you can work some other things um, we can work some presses and just to see you know how that feels I'm always testing different stuff especially when I get you know fatigued I would much rather have everything lined up and feeling good than going into and trying you know now I'm gonna work last lastly is doing the free overhead squat single arm okay so really just focus a lot of this is ankle ankle flexibility okay instead of leaning straight forward and you notice I have that wider stance as well and I'll show you from the side here you can see how much ankle stability ankle flex right there so I'm flexing at the ankle and the hips notice there is a thoracic mobility there um, I'm not really leaning forward there's a lot of shoulder mobility but at the same time I'm gonna come up here and grab a couple other ones for you um, but just really focusing on how it feels as you move okay so here's those doubles again so now I take that wide stance I'm letting my knees go out and I'm kind of rooting into the ground with my feet just like a normal squat I'm trying to find the optimal position for my feet and I like to adjust and adjust and if you need to make like a chalk outline for your feet or something like that um, so you're always in there you kind of drill on that movement and that spacing and that stance into your head please do so so there a couple things you can do to get to those overhead squats a little bit better but now here's some things I do like to do for mobility you notice here I'm stretching my so as I'm trying to keep everything down trying to keep my hips on the ground so there I'm also stretching my excuse me I'm trying to work on that thoracic extension and also my shoulder I put them in different positions notice there how I externally rotated my shoulders took a wider position with my hands just moving around trying to go a little bit micro movement side to side so now here's another I'm gonna really try to focus on both the ankle and the hip right there so I'm stretching my right glute um, glute medius glute max and I'm trying to keep my heel on the ground there okay so this is just you assessing once again kind of how we did at the beginning in the movement I can do both sides of those and you know if one side doesn't feel like the other one does then that's the side we need to pay attention to until you feel more balanced but I like that I think it's could be what's close to um, a pigeon but basically it's that hip flexion now here I'm gonna go and try to stretch those lats and put my arms as high as I can as close together as I can and basically do a squat now a lot of people you could go and do this again back to the chair or the band but I'm just doing it to make sure that I'm ready to handle heavier weights overhead now notice right there I got a nice change to the thoracic spine I really got that extension up there so I can keep everything up um, I'm keeping my torso my abs engaged my transverse abdominis um, so now here's another thing we can use and I'm gonna hook this on the heel I'm gonna do the front so basically a banded distraction so I'm not impinging on that ankle joint so I'm gonna keep the heel on the ground and I kind of bend and bend and bend kind of like you were going to uh, if you want to bend a break a paper clip so I'm bending 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 now I'm doing the back I'm gonna loosen up that tissue in the Achilles tendon um, the skin all that lower soleus uh, issues and peroneals so I've had a couple biking accidents over the years and my peroneals are incredibly tight because I've rolled ankles a lot now here's another one so I'm um, instead of impinging some people have a hard time um, I'm with the hips 
on that overhead squat. If you're tight, work on doing some distraction work for your hip um, so it, your hip doesn't impinge in the front. But anyway, if you like this video, please share it. Give it a thumbs up. Tag us, whatever, if you try it. Hope we can help you out. Also, check out the kettlebelllocker.com.